Hello Libra and welcome to your September love reading. Um, I'm going to do a reading where I read your energy on the left and your person's energy on the right. Feel free to swap the energies if, if that's how it resonates with you. So let's go ahead, let's invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and ascended masters to this space to deliver the messages for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, really any placement you might have, and cross watchers are welcome. So let's go ahead and see what this, what's going on with Libra and their love situation for September. All right. actually going to turn them over one by one. Okay. I do apologize if you guys pick up on any background noise, if you've been with me for a while. And I feel like always in my Libra readings, you get the dog going after the squirrels, you get all sorts of craziness. Um, all right. So let's take a look at the overall energy here. Chariot energy. Some of you might have cancer in your chart. Um, others of you might be dealing with a cancer or somebody exhibiting these qualities. This is about success. This is about movement forward. So if you're already in a relationship with this person, you guys, you might be taking it to the next level. For others of you, you're, you're, you've been single for a while and you're moving on. You're moving into union. All right, Libra. So I'm going to read Libra on the left-hand side, your person on the right. This could be somebody that you're in separation from or somebody that you're in union. Um, or it could also be, you know, somebody that you haven't even met yet. So Libra, you guys are coming out as the Knight of Wands. Beautiful. You guys are passionate. You guys are, you know, you have self-confidence. You guys are straight up hot. All right. You're also diplomatic. Um, and I, you're very, very self-assured as well. Um, and I feel like you're jumping into this, like you trust this situation, you trust yourself. Now, the way you see your person, the two of wands, you see this as your person. The two of wands can be divine intervention. The two of wands is, you know, there's this passionate beginning with the ace of wands, lots of attraction, lots of physical, sexual energy between you guys. Um, and you see this person as your complement. Okay, so you guys, two people coming together, this is a divine union. The way you see this relationship, seven of wands, so lots of fire. Libra, you either have that in your chart or your person has has a lot of fire in their chart but the seven of wands is there's some struggle some of you guys again have already come into union and it's about making the relationship better or go the distance for others of you it was difficult to come into union because there was either distance between you guys um, maybe because you guys worked together and it was sort of like not acceptable or maybe there was something taboo about the relationship you know a big age difference something along those lines but you guys are gonna be just fine some of you guys also might have healthy sort of competition, you know, like intellectual sparring about ideas, politics, books, that type of thing, which is, you know, which is pretty cool. So um, Libra, your person is the three of cups in reverse. Um, Libra, your person might be recovering from some sort of addiction. Okay, um, that might be also why things have been difficult. There might have been, you know, they might have been an over, you know, overindulging in something. Okay, addictions come in lots of different forms. Um, but the Three of Cups is, um, you know, this person may have been married before or may be involved with somebody else. And that might be also where there's di this difficulty is some, some sort of contract or something that needs to be dissolved before you guys can, you know, really be together or before, you know, because I get there's so much passion here between you two. Um, but the Three of Cups in reverse comes down to the Two of Cups, this being your person. The Two of Cups and the Two of Wands, this is divinely orchestrated. Again, your person might have water in their chart. The way they see you, Six of Wands, they see you as their victory. Six of Wands is also a marriage card, so they see you as your happily ever after. They see you as your forever person, okay? The way they see the relationship, Queen of Swords. So they might feel like you are a little bit emotionally distant, 
okay? Even though that you're coming in hot, you're passionate, you're excited, or maybe they're taking a little bit more of like a serious stance towards this um, because the Queen of Swords is somebody who's been through a lot, um, but this person is not sh is not anchored in their shadow energy, but they're very realistic. Um, so I do feel like they're seeing that, you know, there are certain things that need to be worked through. Maybe they're in a, they have a, they have a, a contract that needs to be dissolved before they can really be with you. And I think they're being very sort of black and white, very logical about this. Okay. Your, but they see this, you know, they see this relationship, they see it very clearly. They're not, um, they're not worried that their emotions are getting the best of them. They see you as their person. All right. The strengths of the relationship, your communication. Um, yeah, you guys definitely, I feel like there's a lot of communication. I also feel like there's a lot of telepathy between the two of you. So, you know, I think you'll be sending lots of messages back and forth, but I think you guys both very clearly communicate with each other about how you feel, what the next steps are and that sort of thing. And I think also you guys have that soulmate energy where you don't even need to say things where you guys can just sort of, you know, think it and it happens. Now, the weaknesses here are the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is longevity. It's a blessing so it's still a really good sign but this is something that needs to be nurtured and I feel like this is telling us you know there needs to be patience here again somebody might your person Libra might be dealing with and again feel free to swap these energies but your person might be dealing with some sort of addiction or excess okay it could be overspending what have you or it could be a third party situation so I do get that you do have to be patient even though I pick up on this passion that you have for one another and especially you Libra like you want this like I feel like you don't want to wait and that's maybe a little bit difficult for you okay so let's get some additional information about you Libra the knight of wands passionate Extremely good looking, attractive, self-confident, traveler, adventurer. All right, Prince of Wands in reverse, okay? Yep, so some of you guys feel, I think you're feeling a little bit stuck right now because of whatever your person is going through. Or maybe if you haven't even met this person because of the circumstances um, of a job or because of the pandemic, Okay, and you get the seven of cups coming out. Yeah, so yeah, you guys, Libra, you are extremely attractive. I feel like a lot of people want to get their hands on you. You have a lot of options, okay? But I think you know what you want. Um, and I feel like you're, you're turning down any of those offers. All right, the way you see your person, you see them as your person, that two of wands. Look at that, three of cups coming out twice. Double confirmation that this person is your soulmate. This is your two of cups. This is your other half. This is how you see that person, the person that fills in all the missing pieces. All right, five of swords. But you do see this person as unavailable. Um, five of swords is Venus and Aquarius. So this person, for some reason you realize has to go through, you know, a divorce or has to, you know, get themselves healthy, or they've got to settle whatever it is they need to settle. It's going to be different for all of you. And I think you feel like you want more, you want more of them. And again, they're not like overly, they, there's love here, definitely. Um, and there's communication, but I feel like Libra, you're wanting more from them. Okay, and I think sometimes you might get caught in your head and think like, oh, you know, because you're at a distance or because you're not together or what have you, that'll never happen. Just, you know, just make sure you keep your vibration high. All right, the way you see the relationship, Ten of Swords, it's being very difficult. Some of you guys, this might be reunion. So you might be in separation with somebody that you were in a relationship with. Some of you guys tried before, okay? And, you know, some of you, you might also see, you might be getting a little bit frustrated with this person, Libra, because you feel like they need to end something and they're resisting it, okay? So whether it's, you know, whether it's a behavior pattern that they have, um, whether it's another relationship, maybe it's like they work too much, um, or maybe you just want them to move towards you, but they're, you feel like you're, they're resisting doing what they have to do in order to be close to you. Okay. But there's, and that's where that struggle is coming from. All right. 
your person, three of cups, water energy, chariot coming out twice. So you are most definitely dealing with a cancer or somebody exhibiting cancer qualities or with heavy cancer in their chart. This is somebody who's also very successful. They're probably athletic. Um, or they, you know, they take good physical care of themselves. They might be competitive as well. Somebody that you see is very strong. Somebody who's been through, you know, a lot of tough times, but you know, you, you don't see them sweat. Okay. And then you get the eight of wands. You feel like this is your person that, you know, you've manifested this person. Okay. Or vice versa. Again, lots of communication between you guys with the page of swords and the eight of wands. Um, you know, these are the wands of love. This is something, you know, you've been hit by Cupid's arrow. Okay. And I feel like they love you too. Um, I feel like just they're hesitant on releasing someone or something. Okay. And not for everyone is it going to be a third party. All right. The way they see you. Okay. They see you as their person, as marriage material, as victory. Okay, but the Seven of Swords, again, there's some sort of secrets or they feel like I've, if they move towards you, somehow they're going to lose, I don't know, like money or they are, or they might, you know, this might be a secret relationship. Okay, again, I feel like they, they communicate well with you, but for some reason, again, it could be something at work where it has to be kept secret. All right. And we get the Queen of Swords. Double Queen of Swords. They see you and the relationship as, you know, as being very, they're honest about how they see you, how they feel. They, you're very upfront. This is your energy. You know, the Queen of Swords is, is, is air energy, is that Libra energy. And, you know, she's somebody who's very fair, very just, very loyal. Okay, so they're seeing that. They know that this is something that, you know, this is a relationship that they're not going to have to worry, even though, you know, you are this very attractive person and you have all of these options. All right. So let's take a look at how they look at this relationship. Okay. Princess of Wands. All right. And the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so they do see you as, you know, I, I feel like, I feel like Libra, they're a little bit worried about losing their independence with this relationship, um, with the nine of pentacles or like a sense of codependency. I feel like for some of you, if it's not a third party situation, it's their job. Okay. And they really feel like if, you know, that like the that you want them to move towards them, but they're worried about the impact it might have on their career. All right. And they just, they really want to take things like they want to be thorough. They want to do everything right. Okay. They don't want to be, um, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to have any unexpected delays or frustrations. Um, I feel like they're, they're kind of, they're, they're a little bit of a stickler of making sure that everything's perfect before you guys proceed. Okay. So your strengths in the relationship, we have the page of swords. All right. Yeah. So there's a lot of he heart healing with this relationship, you guys. And I think again, the communication being open, being honest, cause they see you as loyal and authentic. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of healing. Okay. Especially through this time of communication and you guys with the wheel of fortune coming out in reverse, this is about you guys getting through changes, getting through difficult times with each other, you know? And so if you guys are in separation, again, some of you might have been, you know, married to, or with this person and there was a breakup. All right. But you're going to get through this, your open, honest communication, your loyalty. All right is going to get you through this. All right. So let's take a look at these weaknesses. You have the Ace of Pentacles. All right. So again, needing to be patient, taking your time. Yep. Sometimes there's some arguing. There's some butting of heads. I feel like again, Libra, you want more. You want more, pa like not, you want more passion. You want this person to sort of let go a little bit. Okay. Not be such like a stickler for details. And I feel like, you know, I feel like they are very successful. They've been through a lot, but sometimes you want them to be more passionate. 
All right. And so it could lead to bickering and arguing. Yeah. And the king of hearts. I think you want your person to be a little bit more open. Um, the king of cups is cancer energy again. And that's why I'm picking up on this. Maybe they are too reserved. Okay. That they're not, they're, they're not as quick to show that inner quirky soft side of themselves. Um, you know, that they have this sort of like this hard exterior. Nine of hearts in reverse. This is wish fulfillment. Your wish fulfillment is coming, but it's going to take some time here. Okay. You're going to need to, you're going to need to be patient. Libra. Look at that. And you're ready popped out. I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> you're ready. I feel like your person isn't quite ready yet. There's something that has to be there's something that has to be dealt with first, okay? And so you're not getting what you want when you want, but the nine of nine of nine of cups in reverse takes us back to that eight of cups. Again, I feel like your person, although it could be your energy, needs to walk away from someone or something, okay, so that you guys can have your happily ever after take action. Yeah, I think that that's Libra, you wanting this person to take action. Okay. Yes, you are ready. All right, listen to your intuition. Yeah, so they're coming out twice as that Cancerian energy. So I think they're also they're 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 very logical. Okay, they're but they're also wanting to trust their intuition on when the right time is to take action. Okay. All right, and you get recovery. Some of these people that we're dealing with here, I don't know why I said these people, what I was saying earlier, some of you are waiting sort of patiently for this person to recover, either from a past relationship or some sort of excess or some sort of, um, some sort of addiction. It could be an illness, okay? It could be an illness or an accident as well. All right, and I feel like you, you Libra, you feel frustrated by this. Stay optimistic about your love life. Yep, don't get down. Positive thinking and faith is going to bring this romance. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. What I'm picking up on is, for those of you, this may have happened before. Okay? And um, But I, I, I feel like for those of you who are and will be coming into union, that that you know the the work that you guys have done is going to make this different okay it's going to make the outcome different this this next go around um for others of you you're waiting for this person to get out of a relationship okay and you're like come on you already know that i'm your person okay you already know that i'm your person you know what are you waiting for Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. They do have romantic feelings for you, Libra. We know you do. All right, and we get playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So again, some of you guys, this is coming back together with someone, okay? You're coming back together with someone. Um, for others of you, it's maybe not even this lifetime. It's a previous lifetime, but it's like, you know, don't get too serious about this. Um, it's coming, it's coming within, you know, in divine timing, um, you know, because they do see you as that queen of swords energy. They do see this as like you wanting to be serious really fast. And maybe, you know, that's not necessarily what they need. Okay. So make sure to, you know, don't be, just make sure to play. Oops. Yep. Soulmate. I'm not surprised that came out for you. All right, so your first card, Libra, is it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Um, instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Yeah, and I was picking up on that all throughout this reading. All right, you get soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So again, confirmation, this is soulmate energy. And trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will be, it will automatically transform. Some of you guys, this is again, you guys are coming back together in this lifetime. 
okay? And you need to trust that there has been a transformation because somebody here was resisting an ending or transformation. Some of you guys are wanting to speed up this person's personal transformation, which will bring them closer to you. And so that's why we're getting, you know what, take a step back, give this person the time and the space that they need. They are moving towards you, okay? Yeah, look at that. We also get the two of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's going to stop juggling. Somebody's going to put one of these pentacles down. And Libra, I feel like it's your person. And we get that ace of pentacles and focus on this relationship. All right. So this is good news, Libra. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you for all your love and support. And I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.